Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will discuss how ESP32 can will detect an object without using a PIR sensor. And whenever an object is come in front of an ESP32 cam, it will detect the object and take a photo of that object. So for that purpose, moving towards the demo part. So you see the here that we have ESP32 cam and it's connected with the laptop just for the power. So the idea is just when you, you will put it on somewhere like this is the scene or maybe on the top so if anyhow if any object comes in front of it it flashes you see it flashes like the object has been detected if i if i try to put this one in front of it you see so it just uh, captures the moving object so if i put it here okay and if i try to move this one you see so it detects the motion okay so you could put the camera in front of any scene so the scene will remain because for the static scene it will remain same but if anyhow something changes in the scene imagine like if i move this one so it detects that uh, someone is there hopefully you would like our demo so moving towards the source code in the source code you can see that initially we have an option of choosing what module we are using after that i am just including the arduino.h then i am using what module i am using like camera module ai thinker after that i am defining the pin 4 for the flash then includes pif and a library called equitvn actually it's the main pillar of the code so after that i am using some flags and pre-release function we would use it in our code later on then we are using the frame size and the source width and the source height so source width and source height is the actual image height and width then we have a destination width and destination height so after taking an image we would compress it from 320 width to 32 and height from 240 to 24 so that image will be compared so moving towards now there is a motion threshold this is the actual variable that we will use to compare the two images so moving down in set of function first we will begin the serial monitor after that there is a pin mode option and we will define a flash pin like pin number four as an output and we begin the spiff and begin the camera module then we will begin the motion dot set block variable threshold so after that we will move down this is like an other part of the function if the flash flag is true then flash the led4 for how much for one second for well, esp32 can will take an image then resize it Okay, after resizing it will call a function motion.detect motion.detect is the actual internal library internal function so it will uh, give us a motion.ratio so if uh, motion.ratio actually comes after comparing the first frame size and the second photo frame size okay if the frame uh, motion.ratio is greater than over threshold then we can say that motion is detected after that we will uh, true the flag flag flash is true so flash will blink for one second then we are using debounce motion function actually debounce motion function will just trigger the camera back to its real state and save the save that pictures like here we are using we are saving this picture in spiff memory with the name of capture.jpg so this is how our code works hopefully you like our tutorial and if you need any help you can comment below